In the previous couple of videos, we've been looking at all the different formulas for perimeter and area of all the different 2D shapes that we look at in grade 9. For the next couple of lessons, we're simply going to practice. So in each lesson, I'm going to go through one practice example with you. And so what we're actually going to do, I didn't even write down the question, is we want to determine the area and the perimeter of the shape. Now guys, you know how to do this because you've been watching the previous couple of lessons. So if I was you, I would pause this video and I would try it by myself for like 5 to 10 minutes and see how much of it you can do by yourself. That is the fastest way to learn. And then if you get stuck or if you want to see what the correct answer is, you can then play the video and see what I did. It, it will really work nicely for you. You'll become better at maths very quickly by doing it like that. So, I'm going to start off with the perimeter. Why? Because the perimeter is very easy. The perimeter is just the distance on the outside. Now, what you've got to be careful of is these dotted lines over here, that's not part of the shape. Okay? The shape is this part here that I'm highlighting in red. Can you see that with the bold black lines? That is the shape. Those dotted lines are just there to help you with a few extra things that we might need. So, the well, we, we can see that BC, if you look at the length from, they say that the length from here to here is 15, and the length from, for this little piece here, is 6. So then how would you work out the length of BC? Well, BC would simply be 15 minus 6, and so BC would be 9 centimeters. And so we could easily work out the perimeter of the shape, because that's just going to be 17, which is this one, plus 10, plus 9, and that's it. And that would give us 36 centimeters. Now we're going to move on to area. Now you should know this automatically because you've watched the previous lessons. You should have written down all the formulas that you learned. And so area of a triangle, remember we said that that's half base times height. And we also said in those lessons that the base and the height must always be 90 degrees to each other. Aha, so here this is going to test if you understood. So, if we look at this over here as the base, then the height must always go from the other corner and it must always make a 90 degree. And then, and you can see that there's no way for us to make a 90 degree like that. This would never ever work, so we can't do that. And so what we do is we rather, and that's what they've done for us, thank you very much, they're so friendly, you go down like this, and then you just extend this line over here, because now we have a 90 degree. It doesn't matter if those dotted lines aren't actually part of the triangle, you can still use the height as this one over here. Now, we don't know what that height is. I just want to quickly mention one more thing. This red line that I've highlighted here, we said that that's the base. And the base and the height must always make 90 degrees. And so that is why we did that. Okay, I hope that you guys are good there. Now, we have a slight problem because in this triangle, well, we don't have the height. But we have got a 90 degree triangle. So how can you work out the missing side if you have a 90 degree triangle. Well, well done to you if you said Pythagoras. That's excellent. So, we know that Pythagoras tells us that this 10, which is opposite the 90, that one, to the power of 2, would be equal to 6 to the power of 2 plus h to the power of 2. And your reason for that is Pythagoras. In the previous lessons, I wasn't really worrying too much about reasons uh, because we were just learning, and but now we're actually doing proper questions. And so what happens now is we need to get h squared by itself. And so I'm going to take it all, the, 10, the 6 squared, sorry, to the left-hand side. And so that's going to give you 64. You then take the square root on your calculator, and that's going to give you h is equal to 8. And so we now know that the height of that tri or this length here is 8 centimeters. So now we can work out the area of our triangle, because we know that it's half base times height. And we already said that the base length is 9 and the height is 8. And that's going to give us 36 centimeters to the power of 2. 